Hi, my name is Ray Fuentes and I'm the Red Shoe Broker. Uh, being that Saturday, February 22nd in 2020 is National Margarita Day, Tammy and I thought we would create some specialty margaritas for us. And um, we also, this week, we're gonna be visiting some really good restaurants that have some amazing margaritas. Uh, we're gonna talk to some of the managers and uh, bartenders. They're gonna share with us the information that they have about their restaurant margaritas and food. And then this Saturday, we'll be on Facebook Live at one of those restaurants, um, sharing with you the actual food and drink as we partake. But for today, Tammy, um, we've had several margaritas in the past and uh, we don't like salt on our, our margaritas. We prefer them on the rocks. We don't uh, want them crushed. Um, so uh, how do you salt the glass? Tell us how, if you were to salt it, how would you salt it? I would use, because um, I really like the lime in here. So I would use the lime and you just kind of run it around the rim of the glass. Um, you can buy margarita salt in little tubs or you can shake it out onto a plate, whatever works. But once you get the uh, lime around the edge there, then you just stick your glass in there. You can do just a little bit or more if you like more salt. Um, there yeah. you go. Yeah, that's pretty simple. But yeah. for those of you that couldn't figure out how to get the salt on the glass, <laughs> there you go. No shakers. <clears throat> We're using a pre-made margarita mix. This is Lefty Odul's margarita mix. The reason we like it is because it's an authentic key lime margarita mix. Very limey. Very limey. Nobody's so this is great get stuff. Nobody's going to here. Um, and for a tequila, we're, we have um, uh, a tequila reposado that we got from Joey C a couple of years ago. Hey, I, don't, I don't know if you can tell, but this guy's a, a masked wrestler. So this is, is pretty cool. But our specialty margarita doesn't use tequila. Tammy, tell us a little bit. I don't know why I kept looking at the screen. <laughs> Tammy, tell us a little bit more about uh, our favorite summertime margarita. Oh, this is a good one. Instead of tequila, we use champagne. And uh, this particular one is just a, a standard brute. Um, that, I think, is what tastes the best. It is delicious. Yeah, there's there's different ways you can go with this, just like with different tequilas, it's gonna make your margarita taste differently. The same goes for this champagne margarita. We have to come up with a great name, like, you know, Sparkle Rita or something, I don't know. Anyway. Um, Champarita. Ooh, okay, that works too. Good job. Thank you. Um, so, there's different types of champagnes. I would steer clear of the, like a rosé type champagne, oh, yeah. because I don't think that would really go with this too well. Um, the other side of that is, unless you want a really, really super sweet margarita type, um, I probably wouldn't use like a Osti Spumante or a Moscato type right. um, champagne as well. And what do you have there? This is just a kind of a standard um, middle of the road brute, you know, just nice. It's from uh, Barefoot this Bubbly. Is, yeah, Barefoot Bubbly. Um, and so, Unlike a margarita, we're not going to put it over ice or blend it. You can blend it, I suppose, if you wanted to, but um, you sort of lose the sparkly aspect, absolutely. aspect of the champagne. So I probably wouldn't do that. Um, you kind of just pour it like you would pour a mimosa. Okay. So um, we're going to go ahead and try that. There is, so this one is kind of a, a standard one. It's just the champagne and the, the um, margarita mix. There's another one that we tried that yeah. was also champagne, but it was kind of like a raspberry, raspberry, strawberry, something, a, a berry type, which was good, but it does kind of lean towards the way more sweet. And, and I, I'm not a fan of yeah, the super sweet stuff. We didn't care for that as much. <laughs> this one's really nice, really light, really crisp, great on a hot summer day um, when you're just kicking back on, on the patio or whatever. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. Let's do you it. You pour that and I'll get the margarita mix. Okay. Or the lime or whatever you want to do first. I'm going to do this first. Glug, glug, glug. Try to not. <laughs> She's a professional. 
There we go. There's one for you. There's one for me. Great. Terrific. So let's give these a shot. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Margarita Weekend. Really good. Oh, delicious. Today, uh, we're at Zocalo's in Roseville getting ready for National Margarita Day. And today, I have Colin with me. Colin, you're the manager? Yes, so I'm one of the managers here at the Roseville location at Zocalo, and National Margarita Day is definitely one of the biggest holidays that we have here, opposed to like Cinco de Mayo. That's terrific. So uh, we had a little conversation earlier, and uh, uh, for those of you that don't know, the um, is it a blackberry margarita, yes, right? Yes, blackberry. The blackberry margarita is super awesome. You definitely need to try one of those. But Colin, you told me you have two more margaritas coming out Yes. for Margarita Day. Yeah, and so what are those? On National Margarita Day, we have a pineapple margarita where it's actually pineapple infused tequila inside a margarita that we have. And then also a different one that's called the Chica Margarita that's available for sale on that day. It's a Peruvian purple corn infused tequila with pineapple skins, apples, and cinnamon. That's terrific. Now, um, I, I, I mentioned a little earlier that I don't do shots of tequila yes. because tequila and I have an agreement. I don't drink it, it doesn't make me sick, but I'm okay with margaritas. Um, and I know there's different types of margaritas. Can you, I mean, not margaritas, tequilas. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about the different types of tequilas and what makes them different. Yeah, so the tequila process is when you're kind of cooking it and all that inside the like bakings. And then each of those is kind of depicted on how long you age them in a barrel. So like your Blancos, they come straight out of the distillation process to where it's that clear silver tequila, it's unaged. And then you have your reposados, which are my personal favorite. Oh, good. A little smoother of one, and they're aged from 2 to 12 months. And then your nails are anywhere from a year to three months, where, or three years, where they're aged inside barrels. And then anything after three years is an extra añejo, where it's like the smoothest, a little sweeter of all the tequilas. Okay, terrific. So uh, today we're going to have a, a margarita. We're going to have the blackberry margarita. And um, I was wondering if you could kind of get us started on that. Yeah, definitely. Okay, terrific. Colin, what goes into the um, raspberry margarita? Blackberry. Yeah, yeah, the blackberry. Blackberry margarita. Yeah, so we start with our organic blackberry puree that's mixed with cut agave, which is just a natural sweetener and hot water. You mix that with our silver tequila, and then put ice in there, get your glass, put sugar on the rim, since we do pair all of our fruit margaritas, or fruit drinks with sugar rims. Put ice in there, ice inside your glass, shake it up, and then strain it over the glass. Terrific, okay. And um, what would you recommend for a meal with one of these awesome margaritas? What yeah. kind of food do you like? Definitely we have like our tacos are definitely happy hour is a popular time to come. You get a blackberry margarita, our fish tacos, sit on the patio and it's just a great day. What, when is happy hour for you guys? Uh, 3 to 6 p.m. and it's seven days a week as well. 3 to 6, seven days a week. Awesome. Yes. Okay, so Saturday, 3 p.m., happy hour, margaritas and fish tacos. Yes. Terrific. Thank you. Um, and there's one other piece of information you had about uh, like a surprise for us. Oh, yes. So coming spring 2020, we're actually going to open up our fourth location out in Folsom off of East Bidwell. So it's a little exciting news to have coming into this new spring season. Terrific. Thanks again for your time. Oh, wait, I better try this to make oh, sure it yes. tastes right. Of course it does. That's incredible. Thanks again for your time. I appreciate it. We'll see you again. Of course. All right. Bye bye. Bye. Today I'm at Centro on J Street, and with us today I have Hannah and Gary. Um, Gary, thanks for allowing me to come in and do a short video with you. Pleasure. Talk a little bit about your restaurant and um, your favorite margaritas. So uh, tell us a little bit about Centro. Well, I would first say it's not really my restaurant, although I do claim it. It's, a, it's a, under the Perigueri's Restaurant Group, Randy and Stacy Perigueri, and Kurt Spataro, the uh, executive chef. 
So the idea behind Centro, which happened, with, well, 25 years ago, two months ago, we just had our 25th anniversary, is that Kurt went to uh, Mexico and studied with Diane Kennedy and learned uh, Mexico cuisine. She's, she's written several books. The concept is re uh, regional Mexican food, not, not just your regular rice and beans with melted cheese over the top. Well, that's one of the things that Gary said when uh, we when I came in. Uh, he said you can get food anywhere, um, but you can't get this food anywhere but here. So I thought that was pretty interesting, and um, so thanks for sharing that. Well, well you have um, to travel a little further to get it. To be right, exactly. <laughs> but in Sacramento, this is the place to be. So uh, behind us, we have a bunch of um, a bunch of bottles. Anna, can you tell us what that is? All of all of the bottles you see in the back are um, all of the tequila options that we have um, in these jars on the bar um, are actually our fruit infused tequila. Um, so basically we just take some silver tequila, infuse it with fresh fruit, then we serve it as a shot or as a margarita. They're probably the most popular thing we have on the menu as far as tequila goes. Um, and they're really, really fun, so delicious, very refreshing. So you mentioned, you know, I saw your menu earlier and I saw that you have a lot of tequilas. How mm -hmm. many tequilas do you have? Uh, probably, I would say at least over 80. A bunch. Yeah, we have a whole lot. We're going to go with a whole lot. Thanks. <laughs> and, uh, okay, so um, some people do the drinks just as a, the infused tequila just yep, as a shot. just as a straight so, up shot. Great. So tequila and I have an agreement. I don't drink it as a shot. It doesn't get me sick, right? Fair enough. So I'll probably stay away from that, but um, I'm sure they're delicious. Which one's your favorite? Uh, favorite infusion. I love the caramelized pineapple and blistered jalapeno. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a little smoky, a little sweet. You got a really nice kick. All right. And um, uh, there's one over here on the right we talked about a little earlier. Was that the anniversary one? Yes. Yeah, so that's the anniversary. That one we infuse with kiwi, strawberry, mango, and pineapple. Um, and it's a house favorite. Everybody loves it. We do keep it consistently every week because it's so popular. And you have how many going out any one time? Um, anywhere between, I'd say like 10 to 15, just depending on how much fruit we get that week and what we decide to infuse and, you know. Okay. And, and you, you use these infused tequilas with your margaritas, mm -hmm. and how does that change? I mean, how do, how do you do that? I mean, is it the same margarita mix? Is it some kind of different margarita mix? So there's no mix. Um, we just take the infused tequila, we add some fresh lime juice and some triple sec, and we turn it into a margarita. So I knew there was no mix because we're at a <laughs> professional location. All right. Our, our bartender, Brado, spends hours squeezing limes to put them into a jar to make sure. Terrific. Do it for you guys. Okay. <laughs> what food goes best with your favorite margarita? What do you recommend? One of our most popular dishes is the asada de puerco. It's also my favorite. Um, and we take big chunks of wood grilled pork and put it on a bed of some whole black beans. You get some cheese with that, some grilled onions, grilled veggies, peppers. Um, and then it comes with some corn tortillas on the side and it's so delicious. Terrific, okay. Can we get a, um, a margarita made? Yeah. Absolutely. So you're going to make this a margarita. Which margarita are you making? So I'm going to make you the anniversary. Uh, Perfect. Infusion margarita and then also the cilantro margarita. Oh, you're making two? Yeah. Who's drinking with the other one? Who's, I'm get one, but who gets the other one? So, no, just picture perfect. Let's just make two. All they, right. They, the contrast is really nice. It's All right. Well, really I'll let you go ahead and... Let's do it. So which one should I drink first? Uh, try the anniversary first. Okay. All right. Take yeah. the sweet one first. Okay, let's try it. Exactly. Well, that was a little deceptive because it's not really that sweet. It has a nice tart flavor. It's probably sweeter than this one, but that was good. That was the anniversary. Yeah, so that's the anniversary right there. Let's try the second this one. This is gonna surprise me. Awesome. You know what you think? Mm. Wow. I could smell it when I first yeah. lifted it up. That's really tasty and it has a little bit of spice to it. Is that, what's the spice? Is that the jalapeno? The house made uh, jalapeno soup. Wow. Yeah. Terrific. All right. Well, thank you very much. You're I appreciate welcome. your time. Of Ray Fuentes here on the Red Shoe Broker. Thanks for watching my video and I hope to see you Saturday. Broker Ray out.